from a stranger. <laughs> I'm Jared Dienda, and you know these guys, Ken Block, Vaughn Gittin Jr. Welcome to my state, we're keeping social distance here, but uh, we are at the Ford Proving Grounds. These are these are some hollowed grounds. When man. you say your state though, it's Arizona. It, yes, we're I'm Arizona. from Arizona, we're in Arizona. <laughs> Welcome to my state. I had to drive here, as did you guys, you drove all the way from Maryland. Yes, so we did. And I drove 10 hours down from Park City <laughs> with a stop at Lake Powell on the way. That's, I know you gotta have your fun. <laughs> these are hollowed grounds, man. Coming in here, there's some awesome features. Have you been here before? Yeah, last time I was here, I, we were doing some testing on one of our race cars, and there were Ford GT mules out testing, which was just super rad. Have you been to these? Yeah, the grass yeah. Well, we're fortunate in the, being the Ford Performance family. We get access, and it's amazing to have all the run of the facility, which we have today. I mean, there's a 20-acre concrete pad right behind us, you yeah. know, and so for Ken and I, it's a great place to do things. This is a playground. Speaking of play... <laughs> You get to do something you've never done before. There has been footage Yay! of you driving a very special vehicle that has a pony on it. It's part of the Ford family. It's new technology. Why are you here today? Well, last, I think it was like November, mm -hmm. I was part of like the launch program for the Mach-E. And uh, I just wanted to slide it around. It was <laughs> the whole time. Can we, can we hoon it? Can I hoon it? The wildest dream. Hooning. Can I hoon it? Can I hoon it? Still no. You can finally hoon? No, still no. <laughs> Emma was very nice and she just kept saying no. I think there was only three units at that time and they hadn't launched the car yet so they would they were just absolutely not letting me drive it very aggressively and it was raining out so I had a lot of fun but today Vaughn has a brand new toy uh, that you and Ford Performance built? Yeah that... uh, we built it you know our HR team built it a similar team to built uh, the Unicorn we dreamed up this this project and collaborated with Ford Performance and uh, built a very badass battery electric Ford Mustang. Yeah, you, you're gonna drive this thing as well. Am I gonna be able to finally drive this car? Uh, if we have time, I don't know okay. if we have time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that, we oh, gotta whoa. go. <laughs> he helped have this thing come to life and he's never driven it. But let's back, back to your thing. Yeah, I get exactly. to drive your thing and finally hit a Mach E. So can you let's show this thing? Sure. This is the Ford Mustang Mach-E 1400, something that my RTR team and I are extremely proud of. That, you know, we've been working on this under wraps for the last year and a half. So, you know, I've been watching battery electric te technology for a while. Being a like, V8, you know, the Hoonicorn, all of our RTR stuff, our 1200 horsepower drift cars, I man, I love gas engine, fire, you know, is amazing. But the capabilities that I understood from battery electric vehicles is very next level and for things that like Ken and I love doing and the full control of them is like something I've been so interested in and finally the technology was there to do something I felt that we could really demonstrate electric vehicle technology and have fun with it we dreamed this up the result was was this epic collaboration between our team and Ford Performance and building this you know, first of its time, our perspective, game-changing demonstrator. Yeah, it makes a little over 1,400 horsepower and about 1,500 foot-pounds of torque at the motors. And then, so if you take that math, that's before the differentials. So now when you add like a, you know, a diff, it's a torque multiplier. So it could be up to four to 6,000 foot-pounds of torque if, if we want to put that output or depending upon what we're doing. There's nothing like this. It's literally like a, a magnet roller coaster that you control. Like it's just obnoxious. Yeah. For us, it's like, Wow, look at this next step of ways that we can go out and do the things that we love, but in a, a rad way that takes the performance to an even higher level. So yeah. that's why I'm uh, stoked to get in this thing. <laughs> so tell us some more about it, but sure. then I want to... So uh, it's got a 57 kilowatt hour battery. It's between um, both wheels as low as possible. So while it's quite heavy, the battery, the center of gravity is super low. So this thing weighs about just over 5,000 pounds. The battery alone is 1,500 pounds. But that weight down there and that low center of gravity, it feels like an IndyCar. Like it just turn in everything. It's so crisp. You don't feel that it's heavy. It's got three motors in the front, four in the back. 
and you can uh, switch them. You can go 50-50, you know, we have 20% 20, 20 increments right now, but you can go to 2% increments wow. if you want. It's infinitely adjustable. You can make one drive line go the opposite direction, so you can just sit there burning out against each other, <laughs> super fast donuts. I you can't can fully, do that with that either. You can, <laughs> <laughs> you can fully control it. So you mentioned the arrow. So, uh, this car is a Swiss Army knife, basically, as a demonstrator. It's a, a test bed for forward performance to, you know, engineer and, and you know, learn things for production. Right, and, but just to clarify that real quick, it wasn't built to go race anything particular. This was like a technology experiment. There you go. To kind of take a step up with the mach -E. So this is the first time the mach -E has been modified. It's, it's meant to kind of explore what's possible to potentially do some right. stuff down the line, but right now it's basically a demonstration. Sure, exactly. Obviously uh, under here, so motor and drivetrain wise in the front, there's three motors to stack. It's effectively like a, a rotary, but electric, right? So they're actual flux motors. So they're stacked together. So that just multiplies the power. We've got a winter's quick change in the front and rear because gearing with electric cars is very important depending upon what, you, what you're trying to do. Uh, obviously cantilever suspension, and so it has two cooling systems for each motor set. Uh, so one of the systems is, is oil. Uh, this runs through the motors. And then we obviously have uh, some water that runs through the motor. So separate radiator for each system. Wait, um, and is there a whole other set in the back? Yeah, yeah. So there's a giant Venturi on top <laughs> with radiators down in the back to then have the same setup exactly that goes back. to the rear four motors exactly there's Where four motors there? in the rear it's That's got light, fully uh, fully electrical power steering obviously right like all of our cars we're used to have a mechanical pump this is a electric power steering pump which again is is tunable and things like that where is the flux capacitor so the flux <laughs> it's right there in the middle there it is. <laughs> so the flux capacitor is actually an inverter Okay. And there's one inverter per motor. So those are what basically take the power from the battery and, you know, give it to the motor. All of your gearing is controlled by main gear and you have all that torque and horsepower. So you don't need to split to split the gears. We obviously wanted to build a tunnel that you could see all this cool. You're looking here as wires, things you've never seen. That was the first thing you said. Yo, Doug, um, how big's your wires? Yo, Doug, they're big. <laughs> they're big and they're <laughs> shielded. So they're very simple. Them. You know, we have a very simple <laughs> switch panel on there, Motec dash like you're used to seeing some of your vehicles same push button controls you'll look you'll see there's only two pedals yeah. there's not three yeah it's but that dash bad. is huge yeah it's beautiful um well you said you said it could run for 45 minutes right so like a pike's peak hill climb run how long does it take to charge on like you know do you plug it in overnight no 45 like, minutes full so, charge wow yeah yeah let's uh, get you suited up and i'll right. give you a little bit of you finally get the tutorial mm -hmm. the this is it this is the moment the Yay, high five this Air is the five. moment this is the <laughs> moment you've been waiting for <laughs> You ready, bro? Yeah. I'm ready. All right, let's do it. Engage, rock and roll. Ha <laughs> ha! So is it full power now? Yeah, it's at full power. Just turn in, pull the handbrake, and it'll rotate. What do you want to do this time? I don't know, maybe just a longer slide? Okay. Just get a bit more speed, just flick in, pull the handbrake, and go.
it's the wee, like that's your reference. Yeah. The thing is, I want to play with the throttle control and really, but it, like my calibration of my brain with it is still at like zero. Like, yeah. Okay. Just get going around the radius and then just stand on it and then just modulate your throttle around it. feeling good like i want more <laughs> <laughs> like that wasn't fair that wasn't fair that was just such a tease i know we want to go jump in the unicorn now i would love to may i please yes yes it's happening right now Wrap day one. Uh, I actually had to have a bunch of fun. Ken today had to sit in his car, hot car, drive straight two or three times. He did maybe, uh, and we did a couple donuts. Well, one very exciting thing for me was seeing Ken drive our creation. Can you give us a little, just a short summary? Uh, amazing. Yeah, I, I mean, I tried to mock the Mach E back in Detroit before the launch and they wouldn't let me, so Vaughn and uh, finally let me do it today so and Ford approved it yeah yeah thank you Ford so <laughs> that was fun I mean that's what it's built for though it's uh, an incredible machine so it was fun to come out and get to slide it around a bit although now that I've driven it now I just want to drive it more <laughs> <laughs> and then you got to drive and this. then Ken made a dream of mine come true you know it was uh, really awesome working with Ken and his team to, to build this at, at the RTR lab and um, I just haven't, you know, he promised me I could drive it at some point. We haven't been able to, and it's been like five or six years, and now he let me, and uh, it worked out for me too. So thank you very much. This thing is everything that everybody thinks it is. It's raw, it's nuts, and it's really fun to drive and, and very nimble. And uh, when we were building and designing it, that was the goal, but I never got the feel to confirm it. And uh, so hats off to the team once again. And I'm the lucky bastard that gets to drive it all the time. All so, the I'm stoked. Time. <laughs> so I'm stoked you actually got to drive it. Yeah. Tomorrow, Boom, we're going to do Jim Conda Day. So full day of me and Ken ripping Unicorn Mach-E 1400. <laughs> this is the day I'm most excited about. We've done some driving together, like in rear wheel drive, like at Jim Conda Grid, um, rear wheel driving that, but we've never been able to have some fun and you know, integrating all wheel driving. I'm um, certainly not uh, at the level he is, but I'm learning and uh, having a lot of fun with, you know, you learning have to vehicle unlearn, placement. Unlearn your other instincts. Right. <laughs> yeah, because right now in all wheel drive, every time I rotate, I want to like counter forever rather than be driving straight and driving out of it. But I'm figuring it out. I'm just getting the switch in the brain. So. 
Alright, let's go get some sleep. See you All tomorrow. Right.